This is Wild Chronicles. It's mush on slush. In an innovative attempt to educate students about Arctic issues, this team of veteran explorers, educators, and native Inuit hunters are trekking 1,200 miles across the Canadian Arctic by dog sled. This beautiful wilderness looks pristine, but there's increasing evidence that Arctic ice is melting at an alarming rate. It's a phenomenon that team leader Will Steger knows well. The former National Geographic Explorer in Residence has been traversing this frozen landscape for 40 years. See these uh, shallow U-shaped valleys here? 40 years ago, there were all glaciers. How long did you see them? They're st they started melting even in the 60s. But they're rapid decline right now. They're, they're actually essentially gone. There might be a few remnants way up in the hill, but that's global warming. NASA satellites give us the big picture. These dramatic images show how the polar ice cap has decreased in just a few short years. Many scientists attribute the meltdown to global warming, a worldwide trend toward higher temperatures. So if we leave tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. we go one day. During the two and a half month journey, the team reports their observations about the effects of temperature change on an educational website, www.globalwarming101.com. Educators Abby Fenton and Elizabeth Andre transmit the material from a portable satellite dish. Teachers use their reports as part of classroom studies. And students can communicate directly with the team if they have questions or comments. We are now going to concentrate on you know, the high school, college age. So we'll be able to put a lot more energy into this program. This group of Minnesota high school students even came out for a long distance field trip. Whatever that means. Steger and his team hope that through their efforts, they can educate young people about the dangers facing the polar regions and inspire them to fight against global warming. The melting ice is wreaking havoc on some Arctic wildlife, like polar bears. The Inuit, who have lived and hunted in this part of the world for many generations, are feeling the heat. Some have been killed by falling through thinning ice, and often there's not enough snow to build their iconic igloo shelters. Inuit hunter Theo Ikumak is part of the Global Warming 101 expedition. If I look at, my, at the youth that we have today, the, their future is quite bleak. What I'm finding with the youth is that they won't have the same environment to grow up in. For example, ice might even be a thing of the past. Looking at our 10-year-olds, if, if they get to be my age, is the ice going to be there? Maybe not. Are the glaciers going to be here? Maybe not. The message is vital. The educational platform is unique, but this is not an easy assignment. The team is traveling to some of the most remote areas on Earth, where they'll be facing some of the harshest conditions on the planet. Oh yeah, are you kidding? It doesn't get any better than this, does it? Hey, uh, it'd be okay with me if the wind died a little bit, though. I'd be okay with that. Raging storms can bring the expedition to a standstill. Other times, the weather cooperates, but the terrain does not. It took the group all day to get sleds and dogs up this rocky, slippery waterfall. And through it all, these remarkable Inuit sled dogs need to be coaxed and sometimes coddled. Their preferred dog food? Frozen seal chunks. That's what they were brought up on, that's what they want. Sled dogs are perhaps the real heroes of this journey. Steger has always preferred to traverse the Arctic with this time-honored method of transportation. 
If the ice disappears, so too will this way of life. I didn't want to be the eyewitness to global warming, but I've been in areas where no one has ever seen before. And I've seen these changes, but the problem is no one else has seen the dramatic changes. So that's why I'm back here again. It's to bring an audience, talk to the culture, bring back film live on the website to show people that this is real. Steger and his team hope their expedition will do just that. Give a face to climate change. Show how people, not just a landscape, are being affected by melting ice. Global Warming 101 may be a tough lesson, but it's one worth learning.